Well, it's been somewhat of a busy day. Uh, today was my day off. Monday and Tuesdays are my day off, so I got the fire going and I got some pork chops on the grill that I barbecued last night. I got the cart loaded with wood. So I think what I'm going to do is just cook me some good old thick pork chops and kick back for the evening and just enjoy. And I'm downloading some videos or uploading videos from Prime to my computer, my big computer. So when I go up James River, I have TV to watch. So, you know, I really won't have TV, but I'll have a, I'm hoping to download about 100 movies. So I'll have plenty of TV to watch when it gets dark up there at James River State Park. Because James River State Park, you don't have any TV reception. You don't have no phone. You don't have no internet internet you don't have anything so basically you know you kind of like just chill out every night and just watch your fire and when you get tired of watching the fire and having a few beers you go inside and kick back and watch a movie or either go to sleep early but yep, that's what i'm doing for the evening i'll show you my pork chops i'll show you my little man okay there's a little man he's waiting for the pork chop to cook come in baby you okay little man okay yes i'm okay daddy but, look at those pork chops, don't they look good? They look good to me, but I usually load the cart up, you know, with wood and, you know, people come by and want to buy it, but pork chops look pretty good. They're about a half inch thick, but, um, yeah, it's been raining a lot lately, so you can see I got, had a puddle of mud right there, a puddle of water mud, but, um, other than that, yeah, just kick back and watch the fire grow and, all this wood here is just wood I've collected from campsites people left and I pick it up and bring it back here and I burn it but yeah I mean there you go pretty cool setup isn't it I say yep I agree with that sniffing around trying to find that barbecue smell I say yeah I'm a looking I smell it daddy boom man you will get it yeah he go get it Blue man, what are you doing, baby boy? You you waiting on your barbecue pork chop? Say, yes, I am. It's going to be good, too. Say, the sun's in my light, Daddy. The sun's in my light. In my eyes, excuse me. But anyway, that's going to be dinner tonight. Barbecued pork chops. Okay, well, I'm getting ready to show y'all the inside of a deluxe jerk here at Kip Petit State Park, so... You got a good, beautiful view of the ships out there too, sitting on the back deck here. And got a pretty nice walkway here too, but um, I figured I'd give y'all a detailed view of what the inside of this place looks like. Okay, I'm here at Kip Peak State Park. I'm getting ready to take y'all inside and give you a view of what the inside of a deluxe yurt looks like. And as you can see, if you're looking off your back deck, you got the concrete merchant ships in the background, but let's go on and check out this thing I, I believe they're made of canvas so let's go check it out okay you walk in the door as you can see you got a lamp over here you got a little dining room table i reckon you'd call it you got a bunk bed over there two seats to sit down and do whatever you're doing and right here you got a good queen size bed and you got a refrigerator pretty nice little setup here i'm not sure what the price of this place is but that's what the inside of the deluxe looks like now let's go look at a standard size okay i'm getting ready to go into york 3 this is just a standard york but as you can see it's got the lantern pole got a picnic table got the fire pit right there barbecuing and water so uh, let's go check this out as you can see it's got a nice walkway basically the same design just a different inside okay as y'all can see by the walkway it is handicapped accessible so that's a good thing but let's go check out okay getting ready to walk in of course you got your little table right there got your little nightstand right there smells like pine soil in here got a pretty good sized bed nice view looking out the window got a deck back there and three rocking chairs right there you got a sofa table chair another table and broom and a fire extinguisher but okay 
that's your view of inside the standard yurk so let's go look at the um lodge next to the game lodge of the bunkhouse i believe it's called a bunkhouse let's go check out the bunkhouse we'll get ready going and check out the bunkhouse it um it'll bet up to 14 people so let's go in and check it out see what's wow hopefully it's not too dark hopefully y'all can see that i guess basically this is just sleeping quarters and that's it yeah almost like the inside of a bus just got bunk beds everywhere but there you go i guess this is for kids really because those bunks are mighty little oh it does have a, a refrigerator i reckon but oh me got a nice little deck picnic tables backs into the tent campground but that's pretty nice be good for you know groups and you got a microwave straight ahead so that's pretty cool you know but anyway that's the bunkhouse now we'll go and take a peek at the lodges and the cabins they're on the other side of the campground so let's go check them out see what we see okay i'm getting ready going and check out the lodges they have five lodges here they're all the same floor design so all i have to do is show y'all one and you've seen them all so let's go check it out uh, pretty good size as you can see it's got a nice walkway and around back they got the barbecue thing i'm sure they got a fire pit but let's go on inside and see what the inside looks like i guess everything here is handicapped accessible so that's pretty cool That would be a view if you're sitting on the porch and these are non-smoking so if you're a smoker you better get used to standing on the deck and smoking wow this is nice this is really nice wow complete kitchen nice refrigerator microwave stove coffee maker toaster this is really nice go check out the bedroom wow nice size bed pretty nice Got a bathroom. That's really nice. Handicap shower too. Another bedroom. This is really nice. really nice open ceiling like that big table to eat dinner's on even got a checkerboard set look at that oh, that's a pretty sweet bar set up this is really nice really really nice this is the other side oh these are single beds here dual bunk beds more dual bunk beds another bathroom dual sinks it's pretty nice pretty impressive I'm really impressed I am really impressed with this setup I mean 
this is the first lodge I've been in, so pretty nice. Got a fireplace over there. I mean, it's got everything you need, and it's very well taken care of. I would say these things are pretty new by the books on them, but overall, I'm impressed. So let's go check out a cabin and see what they look like. Follow me. Let's go. Two, getting ready to go into the cabins. They have four cabins, grand total. Two of the cabins are two bedrooms, and two of the cabins are three bedrooms. So let's go in and check out. And basically, the floor plans are somewhat different, but you know, they are cabins and they all have fire pits, picnic tables, and barbecue things. So let's go in and check out the inside of the cabin. Hey, once again, no smoking. So we're getting ready to go into cabin C. As you can see, it's got a nice deck, it's got a picnic table, fire pit barbecue let's go in and check it out oh this is real nice too this is real nice too you walk in you got a fireplace you got two chairs sofa checkerboard nice pictures on the wall turn around you got a nice dining room table right there got your refrigerator microwave toaster you do have a coffee maker dual sink and believe it or not these things come completely ready silverware pots and pans plates glasses everything all you got to do is bring your own food and you're ready to go but let's go back here and check out the bedrooms in the bath Okay, pretty nice bathroom. I hope it's not too dark for y'all, but that's pretty cool. This one here, once again, got a handicapped shower. Pretty nice. I like the way it had the shower up and down as far as the handle. I guess this is the master bedroom right here. That's real nice. This here is the master bedroom. Queen size bed. Dresser. They don't have fan. That's the only thing I see they could use is a fan, but I'm pretty sure they have AC. They have two big closets. Let's go into the kids' room. Ah, two sets of bunk beds. That's pretty cool. Two sets of bunk bed, closet, plenty of space. Once again, this is a two bedroom cabin, but once again, really nice. I mean, really nice setup. You could even rent one of these in wintertime. Just come and kick back and enjoy and build your fire. That's your view of the yurts, the lodges and cabins, and the game lodge at Kipta Peak State Park. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please watch some of my other videos. Right now I'm working in state parks and then probably the beginning of June I'm going to head towards Montana. But if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I'll see you in my next one.